Vintage Storehouse Chalk-Based Paint Color Demonstration Today's video is going to be a quick demonstration giving you an overview of the 12 colors in our new line of chalk-based paint and how they compare to each other. We've painted each color on one of these samples to try to give you a better idea of what they look like. Keep in mind that due to the difference in your screen and lighting, the color may look different in real life than it does on your screen. The first color in our line is called Polar Bear. Polar Bear is a pure white, meaning that it has a neutral base and it is the lightest color in our line. I love this white as it is still soft and warm feeling, but it still is definitely white. The second color is Cotton. Cotton is an off-white. It has a slightly muddy look to it and it pairs well with any of the colors in our line. This is perfect for that old faded farmhouse look. You can see how it looks a little darker than the Polar Bear, but it still looks white on its own. The third color is Silver Fox. This is a medium gray color with neutral undertones. The fourth color is Tea Kettle. Tea Kettle is the last neutral in our line and it is the darkest color, being almost black. All our paints have a matte finish and when finished with wax, this is going to look more like charcoal or a dark gray than a pure black but if you want to finish it with a glossy or polyurethane or hemp seed oil, it will appear darker and blacker. The next color is sea salt. I love sea salt. It's a beautiful bluish gray that can be used as a neutral or as an accent color. When compared to silver fox, you can definitely see the blue undertones peeking through. Next we have frosted mint. This is also one of my favorites. This is a perfect bright minty color that leans more towards blue than green, which is what I love about it. Next is jitterbug. This color is named after the color of dresses that were common during the jitterbug dance. It is a fun bright teal color that can be toned down with a little bit of antiquing powder to a more muted teal. The last blue that we have in our collection is Nightingale. I love the color navy and I knew I wanted one in my line, but I felt like so many navy colors were too light and too bright. I wanted a moody, dark navy color and Nightingale is the perfect one. Next is the color Sage. This is in my opinion the perfect green. Not too olive toned, but it's bright and airy and it works well with many of the colors in our line. A great way to add a splash of color to your decor. Next is the yellow in our line called Candlelight. This is a bright yellow. I wouldn't call it a mustard yellow, but it is on the edge of being mustard if that makes sense. It's slightly muted, but it still brightens up a room. Next we have Cherry Blossom. This is a pink with a slightly coral undertone. It's warm, inviting, and bright. Last we have Red Bandana. I love this red the moment I laid eyes on it. It's such a fun bright red with warm undertones and it's extremely saturated. Those are the 12 colors in our line. I hope this helps you in deciding which color works best for your next project. Check out the description box below to find links to the individual colors and to learn more about our new line of chalk based paint. Want more furniture restoration videos? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our blog at vintagestorehouserestorationco.com to get new posts sent right to your inbox. Thanks for watching.